All right, so indulge me a minute for a quick story. 26 years ago, almost to this very day, I was a young college student, and I went fishing at a Rudy Mellorin's marina down in Delacroix. I was fishing maybe five minutes or so from his launch. My very first cast, I was throwing a double rig, I caught two 20-inch speckle trout. Well, within the next 20 casts or so, this is no exaggeration, I limited out on speckle trout and redfish, and from that point on, had to play catch and release. Well, it wasn't maybe an hour into the fishing trip, and I see a boat coming up toward me, very clearly coming right at me. They were idling. They weren't in any danger of hitting me or anything, but I knew something was up. On the boat was Rudy's son, Kirk, who I didn't know at the time, but I would eventually grow to know very well. Came up to me and he said, you own a red truck? I said, yeah, what's up with my truck? He said, nothing. I said, your name Todd? Yeah, my name's Todd. So, well, Todd, you better get home because your wife's about to have a baby. Later that night, my beautiful daughter Taylor was born. One of the happiest days of my life. Well, the reason that story is relevant today <laughs> is because I'm taking Justin Bowles fishing, and Justin's wife is about 14 months pregnant. Man, she is really pregnant. She's overdue. The baby could come at any moment. In fact, Justin is meeting me here at Wrigley's Marina so he can have his truck here in case he's got to head out for the delivery. Well, you know, in my most recent topwater video, I was planning on hitting three spots. I went to the first one and hit Pater, caught some beautiful speckled trout and some redfish on topwater baits. Justin and I are going to make a quick pass in there, maybe a couple of passes, see if we can catch any fish. And then I'm going to go hit the other two spots I was planning on hitting last time. Now, it's not really a great topwater day. It's been chilly here. Every night has been really cool. And that sometimes quenches that topwater bite this time of year. Not only that, we've got a crummy tide range today. It's just going to flip-flop back and forth all day. So we've got our excuses built in. Hopefully we don't end up needing them. But if we don't catch any fish on topwaters, I feel like we can kind of go into the marsh and, and luck into a few bass and reds. So that's our fallback option. Hopefully we don't have to depend on it. And we'll catch some beautiful speckled trout once again on topwater baits. I'm excited to get out there. Let's see what happens. So you came pre-rigged. I like it. We'll see if this water cooled off too much, but we got fallback options. All right, so Justin and I just got to the first area where I caught the fish last week, and it is a beautiful morning, actually a few gnats. It was blowing a little bit at the marina, but it is a sheet of glass right here. Water clarity is fantastic. I feel really, really good about our chances. We'll see if this cooler water has kind of shut these trout down, at least from topwater baits. But we've got some subsurface plugs we're going to throw as well. But you know me, it's hard to get me off the topwater if there's even a chance they're going to hit it. Just saw some bait jump. Oh, looks good. Good thing I did not bring the bugs to it. Yeah. It's either gnats or wind this time of year. But I tell you what, I'd definitely take gnats over wind. Not even close. I definitely like our chances. It just feels right. I know this wind's going to blow before the day is out. <laughs> it's every day. It's just terrible. But it's nice having flat conditions conditions for a little while. Woo! Gnats are bad. Start catching big trout when you don't even notice. Ooh! Ho, ho, ho. He missed it! That was a big trout. Come on back. Ugh. They're going to give us one shot today, and that's it. Oh, he missed it. That was not a big trout, but it was a trout. There he is. There he is. That was a nice fish. That was a nice fish. He's not that nice, but I'm happy to catch him. Top water trout, baby. Look at this. Beautiful speckled trout, top water bait. Does it get any better? It does not get any better. And look, he's got the front hook. I love to see that. That means they're eating. Now a smaller fish hit the bait right before he did. And I guess he got a little bit jealous. Competition factor weighed in and he came and smashed it. 
but I'm gonna let him go. Believe it or not, this is a male. He's croaking. Whoo! I gotta put my buffalo on. Do you have bug spray in here? Uh-uh. Oh, no bug spray. No bug spray. Ow! If you're watching this from out of town and you've never fished South Louisiana, there's a little bug here in these marshes. We call it a gnat. It's technically a no see -um. And they're really bad this time of year. In the mild seasons of the year, they can be just ferocious. Well, today they're ferocious because we don't have any wind. Traditional bug spray doesn't work for a lot of people. What works is something made by Victoria's Secret called Amber Romance. It's a lotion. I don't know who the first guy was to figure that out, but it works very well. And I'll tell you what, Justin and I would pay about $50 an ounce for the stuff right now because we're getting chewed up grass grass pain in the behind oh damn it did you see that oh he came all the way out the water oh i thought he had it set the hook that's the first one i had to do that this year come all the way out baby come back All right, that's not a big one, but it is a trout. That would be a good eater. <laughs> it's about a 14-inch fish, I guess. That's not what we came for, but little fish have to eat too. All right. See you around. Bite next year when you're bigger. I'm also oh, I missed him. That was your fault, man. Yeah, it usually is. All right, so on that first trip, we got two fish landed and a couple of other hits, and that's enough to make me come back here and do another drift. Now, I typically find when doing this, your first drift is your best drift. I don't know if it's because you catch the aggressive fish first and educate those, or if the fish just feel the pressure of the boat. Maybe it's a combination of the two. All right, second drift, no bueno. Justin got a really good blow up from a really nice fish, but that's it. So we're gonna make a little change. We're gonna move, stay in this lake, but move to a different shoreline and see if we can find some better action. Not a ton of bait in this little cove, but we have seen some, but maybe we'll hit the mother load of bait and the mother load of trophy trout. All right, so Justin and I made a quick little move, not far at all. This little cove that we're in is really, really nice. Water's beautiful. Seen a bunch of loons on the way in. No bait yet, but those loons tell you there's probably bait in this area. Oh, first cast, already got a hit. It was not a big trout, but it's a good sign. All right, we got a couple of blow ups, no connections, and we really quickly got into water that's too deep for top waters. So we'll make another quick run and see if we can find some better action. Did he get him? Woo! That's not a little one. That's a good fish. That's a trout. That's a, I promise you it's a trout. We're getting the net. All right, Justin's first connection of the day, and I think it's a... Oh, it's not a giant. Not a giant, but it is a good fish. I'm going to net him. All right! I hadn't caught one in so long, I thought he was bigger. All right, so that fish Justin just caught did something that the one I caught earlier did. A little fish hit him, and then that big fish came behind it and sucked it down. Definitely competition factor at play. So that kind of gives us encouragement when those little fish hit to be alert. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a drag ripper. <laughs> He's not a giant, but he was fun. Maybe he's swimming at me. No, nah, he's not that big. Oh, well. He is not that big at all. He'd be a definite eater. 
Of course, for those of you from out of town, the limit here in Louisiana is 12 inches. This fish is probably about 14. So he would make the team, but we're gonna let him go so we can catch him next year. See you around. Ooh, did you get him? I don't know if y'all can hear that on camera, but that was pretty impressive. All right, this looks like a very, very good fish. Has he come up yet? Has he come up at all? Uh -uh. So he might be a red. He's, not a he's acting like a big trout. No, he's a decent trout. There we go. Oh, look how pretty that was. All right, just, just go up and I'll stay under you. Nice, beautiful fish. Nice, that's perfect. Right in the wheelhouse. Boy, was that close to the boat. Oh, he came off. I had him for a split second. Right next to the boat. All right, so definitely better action in this cove than in the first cove. And best of all, the wind is blowing about five miles an hour, so we have no gnats. Means I can pull this down. Oh, my God. No way. Is he good? He is going crazy. Yeah, that was one where I didn't see anything. Yeah, it just, yeah, right, just sucked it. Yeah, I don't think he's a monster. I don't think I'm going to net him. <laughs> oh, good. Nice. Not a bad fish. Oh, look at that. I did not, didn't see him, didn't hear him. Just felt him, and he's about just in size. I wish he was just in size. He's about the size of Justin's fish. <laughs> he is not big, but believe it or not, that is a keeper speckle trout. And he got the front hook. That's a good sign. It's about a 13 incher. He was a lot of fun. There he is. Yeah, he's, oh, he came off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember I told you I hardly lose any fish? <laughs> yeah, I've lost two since then. All right, so this day already has been a big time success. Justin and I have gotten blow ups on literally every single drift we've made. We'll make like at most two in a particular area and then move on and everywhere we're going, we're getting fish. Now, Justin, one thing I like about fishing with him is he's a trout lunatic. He loves throwing these topwater baits as much as I do. We got bass and redfish potentially on the agenda for today, but it's gonna be hard to get either one of us away from this. You have to drag us kicking and screaming. These fish would have to just shut down for us to go do something different. And so far that hasn't happened. Oh! Oh my, thank God he missed it. Thank God he missed it. Big old red. Dude, I was itching under my sunglasses. <laughs> Still. And you just stopped it? Yeah, it was sitting dead still. <laughs> you know, it's funny because that big red I caught the other day, same deal. I was, I was fooling with the remote and my bait was just sitting out there. He came up and whacked it. <laughs> Man, that was, that was a Godzilla. A lot more grass on this side. Come on, Trout, I gotta redeem myself. I'm feeling kind of bad about myself. I'm feeling like a loser. I'm such a loser. Oh, 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 yes. That's a good fish. Or at least it was a good strike. All right, let me get the net ready just in case. Ah, oh, he's not that big. You got him kind of file hooked. They all just feel massive. They do. You're going to lose him. You want me to net him? You want me to net? No, I got him again. Nice. Beautiful fish, dude. Very nice. A little one hit it. Yep. A little one hit it and he got jealous. That's at least the third time that's happened today. Oh, goodness. That was a strike and a half. 
Now, given my recent track record, there's about a 90% chance I'm gonna lose this fish. Come on, I just wanna see you. And then when I see you, I wanna land you. Oh, nice red fish. We well, definitely keep her red. Not the big trout we were after, but still a lot of fun. Look at this guy. Awesome. Absolutely. Every fish on top water is a trophy. Except for that 12 inch dink that Justin caught earlier. All right, dude, see you on another day. I might be taking you home for dinner, but not today. So long, shorty. Swim away. There he goes. This is kind of where we... There we go. He's not the biggest fish of the day, but glad to have him. Speckled trout, speckled trout. Definitely a good keeper for a different day. His buddies will call him left eye for the rest of his life. But he'll still have a better life than he would in our ice chest. It was a pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your life. You Matrix mullet? Yep. Nice. That's the spot right there. Yep. How big is he? Can't tell? Oh, he's a little foul hooked. Yeah, there's a bunch of school fish right in here. But you can't complain about that. Nice fish on the Matrix mullet. Justin made a change, throwing a more subtle bait. There's one right next to the boat. Look at that, look at that. Just such a fun way to catch these fish. I'd rather them on top, but this is my second favorite way, throwing these stick baits. All right, so the bite definitely slowed down on our big topwater baits. So Justin and I each made a change. He went with a matrix mullet, caught some fish on that, and I'm throwing a mirror lip, a subsurface bait. Dives about three to five feet, but I'm holding my rod tip up to keep it a little bit higher in the water column. The water here is only about three and a half, four feet deep, and they definitely got some grass in here. But these fish are definitely wanting this bait. Not nearly as much fun as topwater fishing, but it's still a whole lot of fun. Now I've had some of my best topwater trips midday this time of year under a high sun. So I don't think that's what's got them off the big topwaters. I think it's probably a current issue. We don't have a whole lot of tide today. And we had some current lines running off this point earlier, but they vanished. I think our tide has pretty much quit. Ooh, got him. Got him. <laughs> it was stopped again. Little fish, but still fun. It's great to hear that sound. Nothing like it. And yet here I am throwing a subsurface bait. I don't get it. This is not the biggest fish of the day. All right, dude, settle down, settle down. I know you've never been in air, you've never been upside down, but as soon as I get this hook out of your belly, I'm gonna let you go. You think he's 12? Probably not, it might be our first undersized fish of the day. I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh! They are tattooing this mirror lip. Now they're not the biggest fish. But I tell you what, you could make Drifts in here all day and definitely catch a limit of trout. This is definitely a keeper. A small keeper, but a keeper. All right, this mirror lip, this is a new bait by Mirror Lore, and it's, it's deadly. It's very, very productive. It's great for these days when these fish inexplicably just stop hitting topwater baits. The same setup that's good for topwater baits is good for these stick baits. You want clean water. You gotta have clean water, absolutely essential. Gotta have bait, and it helps to have grass around. And we've got all those today, but the fish have definitely slowed up on the top waters. Justin's still getting some hits on that Matrix mullet because it's a much more subtle presentation. But uh, I've gone to this, this mirror lip and they're definitely tattooing it. All right, so our top water bite has completely gone to pot since this tide died. You know, fish really have to be aggressive to hit top water. 
and they're just not aggressive when that water's not moving. So I think Justin and I are gonna go squeeze into the backwater marshes, find some funnels, and try and catch a few bass and reds before we have to get him home to go to a doctor's appointment with his wife. Now he hasn't gotten a big call yet, but we know it could occur at any minute, and I'm hoping it does. And I know his wife's hoping it does, although he might be in a wee bit of trouble for fishing the day she goes into labor. But she'll get over it once she's holding that baby. Oh, <laughs>